All right, everyone, so the next uh, point in detail is the geese in this drawing. I'm only going to draw one, just so you guys get the picture. And again, these aren't meant to kind of, you know, finish the drawing for you, but just to get you started and get you started in how the details work. Um, so I'm going to start drawing this goose. And I'm going to use two different pencils. I'm going to use this pencil, and then I'm also going to use my ebony pencil also. Just so you can see the different tools and how they work. So, and again, I'm not going to be... Well, let me start over here so you guys can see. I'm not going to be, like, really, really accurate. I instead want to focus on, like, the value. So I'm just kind of drawing the outline here, just not stressing a lot of detail yet. See, I'm, I'm just being real sketchy. Oh, let's move this over a little bit, give me a little bit more room. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to be as accurate as I otherwise normally would. So you have like this white belly and then like the dark feathers. And then you have one of the legs coming down. There's kind of one that it kind of looks like he's walking, you know, taking a step forward. Okay, so what you see is that this is extremely dark, right? Very, very dark. And but there's this little white spot right there. So you gotta make sure that you draw that shape, so that when you color it in, it looks right with that little shape right there, the little white shape. A lot of geese have that. Pretty much all of them do. Okay, now. I'm going to use my ebony pencil. So I use the, the the number two pencil to do my sketch. And now I'm using my ebony pencil to color in because it gives me my dark, dark, dark values. And because there's not a lot of detail, you just basically color it in. You know, and you try to get as dark as you can. that thick view. Nah, it's a little thinner. There we go. That's better. All right, now even this here, it's not completely white, so we're not just gonna leave it white. We're just gonna do, when you do a light little sweepy lines like this, it kind of makes it look lighter. Uh, lighter meaning um, softer, not as hard. Not as heavy. So you can see there's, but there is, you know, a little white area, like dark, you know, whiter areas here. So I'll leave that. And then how I'm going to do the feathers. Feathers have kind of an interesting texture. And so with our marks, we're going to try to create that texture. Again, it's going to be like these marks, like that. Because you can see it's not all dark, totally black. A lot of it's gray. And this is just kind of a way to get your way into the drawing, not trying to do it perfect right away. You can always go back and put in more and more detail as you go. But basically what you want trying to do is you're trying to create this dark value here and then it gets kind of lighter when it goes out. Okay, and what you're trying to do is, because if you look at a geese, they have very like, fluffy, fluffy feathers. So I'm just kind of, sometimes I'm going like this, sometimes I'm going like this. As I go up to the top, I'm going like this. As I'm going to the bottom, I'm going like this. Then you can actually start to see like some actual tail feathers, which kind of go straight out 
like that. Okay. And actually, the tail feathers start right about here. That's what you're seeing. There's like a division between this part of the feathers and then the tail feathers. And then you can see there's it, it gets darker up here at the outline. So we're gonna make that, we're gonna correspondingly make it dark. And same thing here too. And then down here it gets really dark before you get to the first leg. Like that. And you leave a white area there and then there's dark again because that's where the feet are. And again the dark comes back in. Okay, so that's kind of that's kind of the goo the goose the geese goose. <laughs> that's one of the goose one of the gooses. Just kidding. Again, like so let's kind of create those tail feathers in there. See how that works? And there. So, all right. So we have our general goose there. You can add more detail too. Like there's a little gray area here, um, and you can keep layering on top of this too. Maybe you could even come back in with this pencil, kind of layer on top of that. Or you might find that maybe you could use your eraser, not to erase, but just kind of smooth things around a little bit. See how that kind of spreads around the graphite? Kind of makes it, gives it like a softer look. Maybe you can even come back in here. Some of those tail feathers are actually really white, aren't they? If you look at this, this one here, there's these two white stripes. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. And uh, let's say, whoops, took too much. Well, just come back over here and just give that some more definition, more shape. To it. Yeah, that's better. That's closer. Nothing on here is really white except maybe, maybe that right up there. Maybe. Most of it's pretty much dark. I'm going to go back in here too and I'm going to make this even darker than it was before. If you look at that, that's like pure black right there. So I'm going to hold it up so you don't get those light reflections. See how that works? Pretty pretty close. Pretty good, actually, for 8 minutes and 28, 29, 30 seconds. 